So I guess with all the mixed emotions and blow ups over the last video, I will clarify for some of you, which is for most of my, all of, damn near all of my fans, it's easy to do. But for the other fans, it's almost impossible to get this through your millennial thinking heads. Um, everybody wanted to know why I just now said something. The reason I just now said something is one, I didn't want to hear the bullshit with all you millennial bastards that followed Big Chump. Uh, all of you going, oh, he started it on and you're just bitter because he kicked you off the show. He didn't kick me off shit. He had no power whatsoever to kick me or anybody else off that show. Um, of course, of course, then you got the same ones that say about the carbon car, which they're too stupid to go back and look. I'm the one that forced the vote. I want it off. If they had a problem with the car that they knew about for three goddamn years while I was building it, sent photos to Chief and all that, then I just wanted them to make a decision and stand up and do it. You know, Chief didn't have nothing to do with it. But besides all that, um, why ain't anybody else in the 405? Nobody in the 405 is denying it. Nobody's going, oh, uh, Reaper's lying. Because whether you guys understand this or not, they still, even though I know he's toast and he knows he's toast, they don't know for sure that he is. And if he comes back, then they got to deal with his bullshit. Plus... At the end of the day, guys, it doesn't matter what anybody says. All of you retards that don't know any different or that have already made up your mind how you feel about it, you're just going to slam whoever says anything. Case in point, if Ryan Martin said the same thing I said, oh, you're just wanting his job and you're trying to you're trying to backdoor him and, and, and fuck him over so you, can, so you can be the race master, okay? Sean Elkton. Sean Elkton said anything. Oh, you're just bitter because he kicked you out of Midwest Streetcars. That didn't happen either. Uh, I mean, it, it could go on and on and on. You guys, the the, the dedicated... And, and hey, I, it's great that you guys like him. You know, the, the, the everybody... All the fans of everybody. I never go after anybody's fans um, until now, a little bit. Because when I'm reading some of these comments, I'm like, man, what fucking planet are you guys on? So I go back and I start, I, I spent about 30 minutes, I'll never get back in my life, going back and checking profiles on some of these comments that, that of course, make absolutely no sense. And, and then I st get to seeing, oh, I'm looking at these profiles, like they're all millennial, against the establishment, lazy ass motherfuckers that don't do anything anyway so I don't care what you say I don't care what you think I give two rat shits what anybody thinks about what I do my fans I, I, I explained it very simply do I have hatred towards yeah I have hatred towards it uh, do I think it's bullshit to portray yourself one way and then then turn around and, and be a totally different person? Absolutely. I'm the same prick every day, will be the same person every day, because I'm 50 fucking two years old and I'm too old to change and don't want to change. The people that like me are people like me. Usually that's how fans gravitate. So are you millennial fuckheads? Are you getting what I'm saying here? You're just like him, so that's why you bond with him so that's why the people that wear stupid flat billed hats turned up or sideways on their head because I don't I don't know if their their head's out of balance or they just um, or they look in the mirror it reminds me of <laughs> and I, don't get me wrong I listen to Eminem but it reminds me of a bunch of Eminem wannabes but <clears throat> to clarify all your your uh, uh, questions that made any sense whatsoever. 405 is not saying anything because, you know, basically guys, they they don't want to, they don't want to put up with some of your bullshit. Some of your, just like what I said about Ryan and Sean and how you pick anybody. And anybody that says anything negative, 
some of you are going to come back and backlash on them because you're fanboys of somebody else. So, I'm the one person that really don't give two fucks what you think or say. You don't affect my life. He doesn't affect my life. None of this shit affects my life unless I want to let it. Is my face red? Hey, guy, look right now. Hey, man. I love everybody. My face is still red. They've been out in the sun. I know that's hard for millennials to believe because you don't ever leave your mama's base basement playing video games and bitching about how everybody keeps you down. So, uh, in retrospect, that should answer all your questions. Uh, oh, there was one big one. We didn't really get why he left. Tell you why he left. Because, and this is what I thought was whole, so hilarious about this whole deal. J.J. DeBoss. I know J.J. before he had his own show. When I mames, I liked the shit out of him. You guys remember way back when, when all of you were slamming him, I was defending him. Saying, hey, super cool guy, super nice guy. Um, he can flip it on and off like a light switch. And to be perfectly honest with you, he was brutalizing Chief in the fucking diver's meeting. Wanting answers. Tell me, now. Why? Hey, how's this going to work? How's that going to work? How's this going to work? And, and Chief was getting flustered because J.J.'s on him like white on rice. I mean, he's on him with both fucking feet, quacking him like a duck, and he didn't like it. So he got all up in his feels. And, and between that and the, the deal with Jackie, uh, he, he hauled ass. It's that simple. The funny thing is, you guys, hey, next time you're at one of one of the shows, you want to ask one of the guys independently without it going on the internet, ask them their opinion. They'll give it to you. It, it, it's kind of one of those deals. Everyone, I was on the phone with four of them that were all together riding in the car, rolling, laughing, watching the video. And I'm not going to say who, but um, they're all like, man, that is the shit. You're the shit. They thought it was funny as hell. That, and it, here, here's the Here's the part that I don't like about all of this. My phone, I can't even tell you how many text messages, uh, uh, messages on the page, and all that shit that I've gotten. And, and I'm not talking 10 or 12. I'm talking about hundreds of messages. People saying, man, I'm glad somebody finally said it. Let me put a challenge out to everybody. If you got something on your brain, you think somebody's a piece of shit, you don't like them, whatever, why don't you be real for once in your motherfucking life and just tell them? I mean, that's the only problem that, that, that people that can't speak their mind have with me is because you don't have to wonder what I'm thinking or what I'm feeling. I'll tell you. I'm not scared of nobody, not a man walking this planet, makes me quake in my boots or is going to tell me to shut my mouth unless he's mad enough to try to force the issue. And that ain't never going to fucking happen either, guys. So, instead of congratulating me on, on doing this video, guys, stand up and say what you really feel. You know, at the end, it doesn't matter. Half of you that talk shit to me on the internet, you will never come within five fucking feet of me, and I promise you'll never pump your fucking nuts up and say it to my face. And you may be the baddest... You may be the baddest boy walking the planet. But somebody comes to me sideways, you got it to do. So, I'm not mad. I wasn't mad that day. Was I a little wound up? Yeah, I was a little wound up. Because I'm sitting there thinking, and here's what wound me up more than anything. Was 90% of you fucking idiots was believing what he said. You're sitting there going, oh, chief. Oh, talk to us. Oh, oh. In your mama's basement. With your laptop. With stickies on it. A piece of toilet paper stuck to your finger when you come out to eat dinner with your mama. So, there you go. This one really pissed you off, huh? <laughs>